I'm sure that every year goes by, every team wins, every team does X, Y, and Z, and we all talk about how things can never get better. Well, I'm telling you, this is going to be even better. Well, after being at the University of South Dakota for just about six months now, I can tell you it's a very special place to be. So now trying to build off of that momentum from last season, the Coyotes start this year with a bunch of new faces. The loss of Taya He Miller, Margaret McLeod, and Kelly Stewart, and Heidi Hoff, and of course Nicole Seacamp, who was one of the best to ever play. With all of those rules gone, it opens the door for a lot of young girls to get the opportunity to play for this program. 75-68, to 68, the final score. South Dakota, a winner in the debut of Don Plinsewhite and her staff. We have some young kids that are going to be asked to step up and contribute right away early on in their careers. Bradley kicks it out. McKeever, she'll launch the three. It is good at the third quarter horn. Madison McKeever. And we've been, unfortunately, dealing with some injuries. Their attitude, their determination has been second to none. Arnt earned Summit League Player of the Week accolades for the second time this year. She was also named the ESPNW National Player of the Week. I think something that the staff definitely brings is uh, another level of intensity. What's really special about this is that we have young ladies who want to get better. We're going to find a way to be the very best that we can. And the Coyotes win it 65-62. South Dakota has beaten South Dakota State and the Coyotes now have a score record 21 consecutive home victories, 24 in a row at home dating back to last season. Back out Frederick, she'll launch the three and it's short off of the front iron. Offensive rebound and a bucket to foul. Well, I think something that's been characteristic of this uh, team and this program for years is the toughness, and I think that's absolutely going to remain. Drives in, faked it to Duffy, goes right corner. Bradley for three, got it! J.C. Bradley! Bridget Arns, Arns wants the tie, it's good. Bridget Arns has all ten points for South Dakota. Fog charges straight ahead, stops, launches the long three, got it! Oh my goodness! You graduated probably close to 4,500 points. The two kids that are returning in Caitlin Duffy and Jasmine Triboli that, that split that starting spot are both out for the season. And our kids on the last day of the regular season are competing for a share of the conference championship. We couldn't be more proud of how our kids have competed during the course of the season. It comes down to this being it. South Dakota has climbed the summit. I'm just like ready to go. Let's let's do this.